Hi again. <laughs> Hi, welcome or welcome back. Today, well actually tomorrow. Hmm. Today for you, tomorrow for me, we are making both frozen margaritas and frozen daiquiris with tea. Now, again, please excuse the mess. I know for you, this may have been days ago that I last said, please excuse the mess. For me, it was last night. So we are still oh, trying to organize the tea shelves and it's painful. It's very painful. Anyway, on to what we were actually doing. So I have two empty glass. Luckily, I still have two empty glass bottles that are not broken. And we are going to cold infuse some teas for both of these. Now, I know in previous videos we have infused the alcohol, but because we are making frozen blends, I don't want to infuse alcohol and it to be diluted by ice. So we are going to cold infuse our teas, make these teas into the ice, and then we can add our alcohol later. The mess on this side of the kitchen is just a different story. That's just that I haven't tidied yet. So I'm gonna use about 600 to 700 mils of water. And again, I am using Kunga water 8.5, but if you don't have one of these, which I'm sure most people watching don't, regular tap water is absolutely fine. Powering on. And for each bottle, I am gonna use roughly four perfect scoops of loose leaf tea. Now, how long have we been recording, Samantha? And you have not told these people what teas we are using. <sighs> messy house, messy brain. Right, <laughs> so for our daiquiris, we are using Ben and Blend's Raspberry Apple Pie. Now, if you don't have this particular blend, the ingredients are Chinese green tea, hibiscus, apple pieces, rosehip, freeze-dried apple, freeze-dried raspberry, and natural flavoring. So basically, it's a green apple raspberry yumminess. And for our frozen blended margaritas, margaritas, <laughs> because not so much. We have Suki's Red Berry. Now the ingredients for this, wasn't prepared. Red berry, red berry, red berry, red berry, red berry. The ingredients for this blend are hibiscus blossoms, rose hip peel, apple pieces, elderberries, blackberry leaves, flavoring freeze dried hold blackberries, freeze dried raspberry, freeze dried strawberry pieces, freeze dried raspberry pieces. Oh. Yeah, raspberry anyway, I just pause for no reason. Is this video just gonna be me hectically doing things for 10 minutes? Probably. Is that every video? Probably. Do we enjoy our videos? That's why you say yes. Talking of, if you enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing because I would love to reach the 1,000 subscribers. We are so close to 200. All right back to the tea and not the gossip kind because such a stupid saying spill the tea who wants to spill their tea not me i want to keep my tea firmly in my cup and then firmly in my mouth so it's firmly in my belly oh my goodness can i just show you this tea blend look at all those magnificent ingredients all right so we are going to put straight into this Four perfect teaspoons. So your lid is on and we're going to give it a shake. And we're getting some of the colour from those raspberry pieces. Oh my goodness. I much prefer personally to cold infuse straight into the bottle and then strain it afterwards rather than using an infuser this way you have all of this space for your leaves to dance around and infuse and get the most out of their flavors use an infuser you're limiting where your leaves can go to and the more room your leaf has to expand and move the more flavor you're going to get and that's about as educational as this channel gets again 
kind of see that the colour is starting to change, give it a good shape, and you can really see that the colours are coming out. Now, if like me, you are a drinker and you like cocktails, old booze bottles are the best for cold brew. Yes, the neck is a bit thin, but like they make beautiful bottles with beautiful lids. You're already buying the booze, so why spend extra buying a water bottle? I actually love how these are pretty much the exact same colour. Oh, I might have to reference this video again tomorrow when I go to make ice cubes because uh, which one is it? <laughs> this one's so cute. This one's margaritas. Oh my goodness, I didn't even that to bring margaritas is tequila bottle. Daiquiris is what I believe was actually a rum bottle. I'm a genius, I didn't even realise it. I am an un conscious genius so we are now today slash tomorrow my past selves tomorrow my current selves today your today we have two lots of ice now i did do these in just old ice cream tugs because ugs tugs now i did do these in old ice cream tugs because of how much ice we're making and we're just going to have to smash this with a hammer and break it up. If you want to do this into ice trays, I lost my hair. then do that. You do you. You do you. Oh, it looks so cool! <laughs> Whoa, look at that! <laughs> For our margaritas, we have the Suki red berry tea. We also have what is left of some tequila. We are using little Altos. Bits. Just the milk. <laughs> Where'd the rest go? The ice. Limes. Yes, limes, bit of simple syrup. And that's it? Yeah. And that's it. And for our daiquiris. Oh no, the frozen fruit as well, of course the Whoops. We, 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 we rewind. <laughs> and we are going to use a couple frozen strawberries for the margaritas. For the daiquiris, we have the bourbon blend tea. White rum, we are using Bacardi. And about a tablespoon of frozen raspberries. And that's that? Yeah. Uh, lime, you said lime. Didn't you? I did not say lime. Doubles? Yeah, let's do doubles. Okay, so we're going to use four shots of Bacardi here because we'd usually use just over a single shot of Bacardi in a daiquiri or white rum, let's say, and then just under um, the liqueur, the fruit liqueur that you were going with. But we haven't got any fruit liqueur here. Because so. we're replacing it with something better. Yes, the tea, the magic tea ice. What? Squeeze the lime in. No drinking. I'm gonna put half oh, good squeeze of lime for each drink. That's sorry, darling. That was half um, half a lime for each drink, and then some simple syrup. I want to go for about 30 mil here, 15 for each drink. Could, so this shot glass is 25 mils. That could be about smack on actually. Oh my god. And if you don't have simple syrup, it's really easy to make. You just mix up sugar in warm water. Just just go on Google. Dead easy to make. Okay, open the raspberries, fresh well, right, fresh. <laughs> Stubby vines, if you know what I'm talking about. And I said a, a, a good tablespoon for each. I'm just gonna finger it down there. Excuse me. I, I, I did not say I'm going to finger fruit. Stop saying that! <laughs> you should already think so. Keep saying dick. I'm so excited for this one. So, because we did our ice in one massive cube, it's a little bit thick and stuck. Um, so, we're actually going to on the spot, improve the recipe, and we're going to do a dash of apple juice. If not, we'll add a little more. It's going to get noisy. 50 ml apple juice. 50 ml. Beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> Lesson learnt. I want to do these in ice cube trays. Benjamin said, no, I'm just doing an ice cube tub. It'll be fine. That's fine, you just smash it up a bit better. We'll do the next one. Hmm. That's not fair that you're tasting it. I'm not tasting it. I wasn't trying it, I was just getting the spoon. Uh, uh. That's not fair. So I crushed this outside this time. Add the tequila. So hopefully we have four shots here. Oh no, we ain't got four shots here. Huh? 
three and a half shots. Ish. Ish. Um, I would recommend not drinking most of your tequila before you uh, make this. Word. Word up. Right, so uh, for the margarita, I'm going to personally uh, squeeze the juice out one and a half pounds for each drink. This so we have for you want to get the strawberries out of the freezer? How many strawberries? Four for each drink, so eight total guys. Eight total for us. Yeah, of course. Okay, that's only lamb juice. Lamb lamb juice. Then we've got some simple syrup. Now we're gonna add I'm gonna add 20 ml for each drink in this one. 20 ml of simple syrup, and then we should be good to blend. There's a 20 ml of mine. Let's go for another 20. Whoop! Shake it up. And this is what our mixture looks like at the moment. Very pink. Smell thing? Smell what we're saying? Oh yeah, it's smells a, it, like smells, good, it smells good. That smell, you like, you can really smell the fresh lime. You can smell, <laughs> smell the fruits in there. You can definitely smell the tequila, even though there isn't that much. But enough. Good. Good. Okay, so we blended, and we got lovely thick dense tea and smell for to smell again. It smells even better this time. Around. Oh. <gasps> She said she didn't want to try them. Is that one good? Samantha's face is it's ridiculous. Okay, down, down, down. Okay. I'm gonna go for the decorous. So this is the finished project. Product. Project. Boom. I suppose it is a project. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. Yes, drink more. It's very full. Oh, mine is delicious. Mine's really good too. Mine, mine kind of reminds me of those jubblies. It's a jubbly. A straw, well, a raspberry jubbly. It's what? Mm. Yeah, I like mine. Oh so with my one, it's a green tea, so it's a bit more specific, but with the Margarita. This is just a fruit infusion, so you could do that with any fruit infusion that you have. Oh, the margarita. No. Oh. No, the daiquiri. Oh my goodness, that green tea flavour coming out in the frozen drink. Ah. <laughs> no, man, it's oh. all about the margarita. I'm about the. Um. Yeah, I'm all about. Alright, well. I'm all That's about your the I'm all about the liminess, the margarita. Well, I really, really enjoy the <coughs> the daiquiri, the green tea flavors. Shush, toilet. You get that slight hit from the apple juice. I can't even tell there's rum in this. I can definitely tell there's tequila mm. in this. You can really taste the tequila. You can I wish there was tequila. more. I'm not gonna lie. No, but I like that you can taste the tequila in this one. Mm. But Bacardi is not a I, particularly good tasting rum, yeah. so I like that it matters. Yeah, it. that's what a decor is for. Hmm. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. We are over 200 subscribers, which means we are on the way to 300, which means we're on the way to 1,000, which means what then? Goals. Goals. <laughs> I, I knew I was just being a pain. Bye! Love you! Peace and love! Oh, I'm stroking my beard. I'm not stroking your beard, I'm making you look beautiful.